Hello, this is Max. Archaeologists discovered an ancient pyramid and ventured inside, but Anubis awaited them there. Don't forget to subscribe. The opening sequence begins with a prologue that mentions American archaeologists discovering a new pyramid buried deep within the Egyptian desert. Amidst the chaos caused by the Egyptians, a documentary film crew arrives in Egypt to capture the significant archaeological find. The story then shifts to a news reporter named Sunni and her cameraman Fitzy, who report on the unusual three-sided pyramid, distinct from the traditional four-sided pyramids of Giza. Sunni highlights Dr. Miles Holden and his daughter Nora as archaeologists with the potential to rewrite history through their discovery. During Sunni's report, a persistent dog's barking from the top of a pyramid interrupts her, much to Fitzy's annoyance. Later in the segment, Sunni interviews Dr. Holden about his exploration efforts and his search for ancient texts referencing the geographical area as a potential location for the elusive Lost Pyramid of Akhenaten, which may be connected to the unique structure they've found. Following this, Noor is interviewed, where she clarifies that the three-sided pyramid is not related to King Akhenaten and is buried beneath the surface. Nora explains the long process of sin accumulation over thousands of years that created this structure. When asked about the reluctance to use satellites in archaeology, Nora reveals that many in the field are hesitant to embrace innovation and prefer traditional methods. Dr. Holden and Nora then introduce Sunny to a satellite orbiting the Earth and show her the specific location of the pyramid, emphasizing that a significant portion remains buried under the sand. Dr. Holden expresses astonishment at the pyramid's immense size, and Nora explains the precise location from which the tip of the pyramid can be accessed. Intrigued, Sunny asks about the satellite itself, and Nora mentions her inspiration from an article titled SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. When Sunni inquires about aliens using pyramids as a means to visit Earth, Nora dismisses the idea with laughter, as she does not believe in such theories. Throughout the conversation, Dr. Holden attempts to redirect Sunni's focus from satellites to the field of archaeology. However, Sunni and Dr. Holden find themselves in a heated argument over the significance of the satellite aspect. Sunny contends that satellite technology represents the dawn of a new era in archaeology, a viewpoint that deeply upsets Dr. Holden. He believes that the essence of archaeology is being lost amidst these technological advancements. Later that evening, Nora has a phone conversation with her mother, assuring her of her safety during the mission to uncover the buried pyramid's secrets. However, her frustration flares up when she spots a remote-controlled rover vehicle named Shorty, which was designed by her boyfriend and fellow team member, Michael Zahir, a robotics engineer. Zahir introduces Shorty to everyone, explaining that it was originally developed by NASA for Mars rovers. He mentions that Shorty has built-in recording capabilities, capturing both visual and auditory data. Once inside the pyramid, Shorty will transmit real-time footage back to the command center, aiding the team in their mission. The following day, the Egyptian workers who were tasked with breaking through the tunnel inform Dr. Holden that they have successfully gained entry into the pyramid. A sense of urgency fills the air as everyone, including Sunny and her news reporting team, hastily joins the workers in heading towards the pyramid. However, as the final stone is removed, a sudden release of toxic gas mixed with fungus engulfs the area, causing severe harm to one of the team members. Immediate medical assistance is sought for him fortunately saving his life. Meanwhile, Dr. Holden receives a message from the Ministry of Antiquities, instructing him to halt his research and evacuate the area within 24 hours. The reason behind this directive becomes clear as widespread protests erupt in Cairo, fueled by local sentiments against foreign individuals exploring their ancient pyramid. The situation escalates into chaos and rampant violence. Upon receiving the news, Dr. Holden makes the difficult decision to abandon their mission and depart the following morning. However, Nora is determined to persuade her father to retrieve something from the pyramid, emphasizing the potential significance of the discovery and the fame it could bring them. After much contemplation, Dr. Holden reluctantly agrees to send Shorty inside the pyramid to gather readings and capture images, hoping to gain insights into its contents. Shortly thereafter, an army contingent arrives to oversee the team's departure. Zahir, being the only one who understands Arabic, informs the army that they are in the process of concluding their activities and leaving. Following this, Zahir guides the remote-controlled rover, Shorty, into the pyramid. As Shorty ventures deeper into the pyramid, it encounters a relatively low level of toxic fumes, and the walls within the pyramid display the symbol of Osiris. 
the Egyptian god of the afterlife. Suddenly, Jordi is attacked, startling the team. The hare suspects it might be the same dog that caused disturbances earlier. As he attempts to send Jordi even deeper into the pyramid, the rover suddenly loses connection. Desperate to retrieve his expensive creation, Zahir manages to convince the rest of the team members to enter the pyramid. Initially, Dr. Holden refuses, but with Zahir continuing to insist, he eventually agrees. Dr. Holden declares that only he and Zahir will be going inside, taking the risk in pursuit of whatever lies within the ancient pyramid. However, the other team members strongly disagree with Dr. Holden's decision, reminding him that they are a team and should be working together. Upon witnessing Dr. Holden and his team preparing to enter the pyramid, the Egyptian army, led by a soldier named Shahid, shouts at them, demanding their immediate departure. Zahir explains their situation to the soldier, requesting permission to retrieve their expensive rover. Eventually, the army grants them a two-hour window to recover Shorty. Dr. Holden, Nora, Zahir, Sunny, and Fitzy proceed into the pyramid. Nora brings her own camera to document her diary while Dr. Holden cautions the team against touching anything due to the instability of the ancient structure, which poses a risk of collapse at any moment. A short while later, Zahir becomes anxious upon discovering a broken piece of his rover, fearing the repercussions from NASA as they venture deeper into the pyramid. Nora discovers a hole leading upward and urges the team to explore it. Climbing through it, they encounter various objects and structures, prompting them to begin analyzing their findings. In a significant moment, Nora comes across a metallic structure stained with dried blood and decides to take it along as a sample for further examination. During their descent, the guiding wire supporting Dr. Holden suddenly snaps, causing the team to lose their sense of direction. Stranded without a clear path, they enter a room where Zahir finds his missing rover. Just then, the room's floor, which is unstable and weak, collapses beneath them, causing them to fall 90 feet below ground level. To make the situation even worse, a large piece of debris falls on Zahir, crushing his leg and trapping him. The team makes every effort to free him, but their attempts are futile. In the midst of their struggle, Sunny discovers a hole and decides to climb it in search of an exit to seek help. However, as she attempts to ascend, an unexpected encounter with a mysterious creature forces her to withdraw. Meanwhile, Dr. Holden discovers a gate with a carved warning against entering. He suggests the team wait there until the soldier arrives to find them. However, Nora disagrees, realizing the limited time to rescue Zahir and opts to search for an alternative exit. Before leaving Zahir alone, she equips him with a torch, shares a heartfelt kiss, and promises a swift return. Subsequently, as the team departs in search of an escape route, they suddenly hear panic screams. Dr. Holden and Nora rush to assist and find out he's gone. The presence of bloodstains suggests that Zahir was dragged into the mine and he did not survive. This devastating discovery leaves Nora heartbroken, but Dr. Holden does his best to console her and encourages her to stay with the team in their search for a way out. Dr. Holden then concocts a story, telling the others that Zahir was crushed while attempting to move the stone. However, Sunny remains skeptical, angrily blaming him for their predicament. In the following scene, the team proceeds through the tunnel growing increasingly anxious as Nora senses they are being followed. They hasten their pace and encounter Shagid, who has come to rescue them. Just as they reunite, several creatures attack. Shagid fights valiantly, but he is ultimately consumed by a large predator. Fear grips the group, and they huddle together in a corner. Fitzy notices that Sini's facial scratch is becoming infected, and her eyes appear unwell. Shortly after, Dr. Holden discovers a wall carving depicting passages from the Book of the Dead, illustrating the concept of the Final Judgment. Souls are weighed by the god Anubis against a massive scale held by Mott, the goddess of truth. A balanced scale signifies passage to the afterlife after appearing before Osiris in the Panel of Judges. As the group proceeds into another tunnel, Dr. Holden inadvertently triggers a mechanism that seals the door and rapidly fills the tunnel with sand. Fearing they will be buried alive, they scramble to escape. Tragically, Sonny falls into a pit filled with deadly spikes. Fitzy attempts to rescue her, but his efforts prove futile. The entire team is devastated by Sunni's loss, but they must press on in search of an escape. Soon after, they discover a missing part of Shorty, and Fitzy realizes that its antenna can be used for communication. He ingeniously rewires the rover with his Camry, recording a video message explaining their dire situation and pleading for help. 
They also issue a warning that the pyramid is infested with dangerous creatures, advising anyone who enters to bring weapons for protection. Later, Dr. Holden makes a remarkable discovery of a hidden chamber containing the body of a 19th century explorer and his journal. The journal hints at a potential escape route from the pyramid. However, before the group can fully process this information, a clawed hand suddenly thrusts into Holden. Nora cries out for her father, desperate to help him, but Fitzy pulls her to safety. Fitzy enters the chamber and witnesses Dr. Holden's final moments, capturing the harrowing scene on his camera as the creature takes its life with the old man. While Nora mourns in a corner, the creature passes by without noticing her. After some time, Fitzy returns to her and shows her the captured footage, leading her to identify the creature as Anubis the Devourer, a hybrid entity part jackal and part human known for consuming the hearts of the impure. In the next scene, Fitzy discovers the dead soldier and takes his gun, while Nora retrieves a flare from her father's corpse. Nora comes across hieroglyphs in the chamber, indicating that the pyramid was constructed to trap Anubis, who seeks to reunite with his father Osiris through the final gate of heaven. Following this revelation, Nora and Fitzy embark on a quest to find star maps on the ceiling, searching for the tetrahedron symbol representing the three-sided pyramid, which apparently serves as a guide to the exit they seek. Nora successfully locates the brightest star and leads the way toward a shaft, where they discover a rope indicating the soldier's entry path into the pyramid. Summoning her courage, Nora begins to climb the rope, with Fitzy following closely behind. Suddenly, Anubis materializes out of nowhere and seizes Fitzy. Despite Nora's desperate attempts to escape, Anubis captures her as well. In a last-ditch effort, Nora ignites the flare and pushes it towards Anubis. She reaches the top of the rope but is dismayed as Anubis re-emerges and seizes her once more. Bound to a pillar in the burial chamber, Nora regains consciousness only to find Fitzy suffering a gruesome fate as Anubis smashes his face without remorse. This horrifying sight devastates Nora, but she remains determined. Using a blade, she cuts the rope binding her and inflicts a wound on Anubis's neck. As the beast trembles in pain, wild cats pounce on him, offering Nora an opportunity to escape. She makes her way towards the exit, but just as she nears it, Anubis reappears and captures her once more. If you are interested in such films, Please proceed to the next video on the screen and also share your thoughts about this film in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe. Goodbye.